Hello again, year four. For maths today and the week, we are going to be focusing on division. I mainly, at the end of the week, want you to be confident with either the short multiplication method, which we call the bus stop method, or the long multiplication method, which will what we call chunking. To begin with, we're going to use our pictorial representations to hopefully cement that knowledge of what's actually happening when we divide, when we share. But ultimately, the real practice I want you to do and the understanding and the techniques that I want you to use are first of all the bus stop method and then the chunking method, okay? So our LI today is just to divide, and here's a starter question for you. So a banana weighs 140 grams, a pineapple weighs 345 grams. So bag A contains eight bananas. Think about the calculation you'll need to do there. One banana is 140 grams. Eight bananas, you're going to need to do 140. Take away eight plus eight. 140 lots of eights at times. Have a think. And bag B contains three pineapples. So one pineapple is 345 grams. What would two pineapples be? What would three pineapples be? Then which bag weighs more and by how much? Think about your two answers and what you'd need to do. Would you need to add them together? Or are you looking to find the difference? So would you subtract them? Show your work in and pause the video here. So bag A, eight bananas, one banana is 140, 140 times eight, you could do in your um, short multiplication method, 1,120. Bag B, three pineapples. Again, short multiplication method, which is what we worked on last week, 345 times three. 1,035, and then how much more is bag A than bag B? We can put that in column subtraction. So zero take away five, I've got zero, I can't take five away. So we need to knock next door and exchange. We need to borrow. So that two becomes a one, and now we have 10. 10 take away five is five, but again, we only have one ten now, and we try and take away three tens. We can't do that, so we need to knock next door again, and our one becomes a zero, and now we have eleven. So eleven take away three is this wonky eight that I try and use with my mouse, and then zero take away zero is zero, and one take away one is also zero. So bag a weighs 85 grams more than bag B. Let's move on to division. Dividing is basically sharing into equal groups, or tomorrow you'll see that it's not always equal groups because there's some left over, we have remainders, but we share it, we find groups of, we split, we partition. There's some synonyms for division. So here, we can see the question, 84 divided by four, but what else might that look like? It might say, how many groups of four fit into 84? How many fours are there in 84? Because remember, division is the inverse, it's the opposite of multiplication. Split 84 into four groups, share it between four groups. Okay, we'll see those phrases come up a lot. So what would that look like if we were to put that into some sort of pictorial representation? We've got our tens and our ones. We want to try and share them out equally. Yeah. So here, I'll start breaking it down a little bit more as the slides go on. Here, an equal amount, I can put two tens in each of them. Remember, I've done one two, three, four boxes because I'm divided by four. And then I get one, one in each. So there's an equal amount. So there'll be no remainders. So I have two tens and one, 21 in all four. So 84 divided by four is 21. 
this is the method that I really want you to become confident with and comfortable with, okay? So we can also do 84 divided by four like this. So whichever number we're dividing by can go outside and the number that we are separating into groups goes underneath the line and then we do it in stages. So how many times does four go into eight? Four, eight, it goes into it twice. So I'm going to put a two. How many times does four go into four? Just once, one times four is four. So I can put a one. So again, we can see that 84 divided by four is 21. Let's have another look at the next question. 69 divided by three. So I've got one, two, three rows this time because I'm dividing by three. Again, equal amount, two tens, two tens, two tens, three ones, three ones, three ones. So I have two tens and three ones. So 69 divided by three is 23. Let's have a look at here. See if you can do this one with me. Can you remember how to do this? How many threes are there in six? Three, six, two. How many threes are there now in nine? Three, six, nine. So three. 69 divided by three is 23. This one, I've already started us off. I've got two tens, two tens, two tens, two tens. So that's a great start. However, I have another 10 here. So it means it can't be equal. Or can it? What we could do now, I know that 110 is the same as 10 ones. So I changed my 10 for 10 ones. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six ones plus 10 ones. So I have 16 ones. And if I put them out equally, I have four, 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 and four. So I've exchanged that 10 for 10 ones instead of just leaving it to the side here. So now I have 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 in each section. So 96 divided by four is 24. Let's have a look at that in the bus stop method. A bit trickier this time, so pay attention. How many fours are there in nine? Four, eight, 12. 12 is too many. So there are two fours in nine. How many are left over? What would I need to add to get to nine? Four, eight. So there are two fours, but to get from eight to nine, I would have to add one. So that one, I just put next to the six there. And now how many fours are there in 16? Four, eight, 12, 16. There are four fours in 16. So 24, we're gonna do that once more. Again, you may want to try this for yourself. I have an equal amount of tens, but I have two tens left over. So what can I do? I can exchange one 10 for 10 ones and another 10 for 10 ones. So now I have 20 ones, 21, 22, 23, 24. I have 24 ones now. Let's see if we can divide those equally into six sections. I can, I have no remainders. Four, 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 four. And there's 24 ones in total. So I have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 equal groups. Okay, so 84 divided by six equals 14. Let's put it in the bus stop method again. We're gonna to have to carry over again here. How many sixes are there 
in eight, six, 12 is too many. So one, six, what do I need to add to get to eight? Seven, eight. So I have one at the top and I need to put my two here because seven, eight. So how many sixes are in 24? Six, 12, 18, 24, four. Okay, your turn now. Let's see if you can use the bus stop method, ideally, to answer these questions. If you need to use the counters, I've put that as a scaffold in the Microsoft Teams document. But see if you can use the bus stop method. So 88 divided by 4, 96 divided by 3, 75 divided by 5, 72 divided by 3, 48 divided by 3, and 96 divided by six pause it here if you're watching and have a go at those questions your answers are coming up now what no not they're coming up in a little while actually they're going to come up at the end here we have our crocodile mouse here so remember whatever the smaller point is that means the smaller amount so the big gap is where the bigger number goes the small point is where the smaller number goes. So 69 divided by three, is that bigger, smaller, or the same as 96 divided by three? Same for question two and question three. Just complete as many questions as you, as you can until you have about five minutes left, and then you can check over your answers, okay? couple of word problems for you. I'll let you just read those because I know this video has gone on for quite a while. Pause it here if you're up to these questions. And then that is, I think, the last one there. So pause it here for that question. And your answers. So 69 divided by 3 is less than... 96 divided by 3. 96 divided by 4 is less than 96 divided by 3. And 91 divided by 7 is less than 84 divided by 6. Here, the calculation was 93 divided by 3, which is 31. Here, we had 92 divided by 4, which is 23. And then for our challenge X, this is what we could have had. Hopefully that was okay. We are going to be continuing that tomorrow, but also looking at questions that will have remainders. Okay, so well done and have a fantastic morning. I'll see you this afternoon.